We've been working for a lot of years on understanding walking and running. Cassie is the newest bipedal robot out of our lab. We added a few motors for degrees of freedom, so that enables us to stand in place, sit down, crouch, squat. We've had to upgrade pretty much everything from Atreus to get the size down. We've had to build a lithium-ion battery pack. We looked around to have people build it for us, and the two markets for that really exist in electric vehicles and home backup power, and those are both just way too large for our applications. She doesn't fly but her owner is hoping this mechanical bird will help his research soar. The Cassie robot is a pretty big step up in terms of the type of hardware that we've had available in the lab for evaluating our uh, mathematics. We did a lot of our own custom designs for Cassie because we didn't have access to off-the-shelf components that performed as well as we could make perform ourselves. We're doing something that no one really knows how to do yet, and by doing it we're learning what's correct, we're learning what the right answers are. There are a lot of robots out there that will take one step and put one step in front of the other, but they take a huge amount of energy to do it. or. Any small disturbance, these robots that are just sort of demonstrations will fall over the fan. Until then, Grizzle and his team will continue on with their bird watching expeditions. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Ann Arbor, Michigan. If you have a robot that has the same capabilities as a person, you wouldn't think twice about sending that robot. So that's my guiding star, is putting this out into the world and making something actually useful.